you'll definitely want to watch this video along with my video on how I manifested a marriage. Now, if you're already coming from that video, great. <laughs> Welcome. Now, let's jump into how YouTube, a pen and a prayer got me hitched. <laughs> For years, this channel was about me helping people with their money management, especially through having an online business. But as you now know, I elevated and grew my brand into more ways to help people, especially amazing women like you, to have an elite elevation transformation in life, love, family, and finances. So not just business anymore. Well, in 2019, there was a guy surfing the internet looking for a business coach. He had not too long ago secured a $20,000 client and wanted to further up his skills to keep that momentum going. He did a simple search on YouTube for a business coach that was local to him, who also is or was associated with a marketing team that he had worked with once before. Well, YouTube gave him moi. Now, mind you, all this time, I was just minding my business, literally. <laughs> Because my videos were about marketing, sales, scaling up your business, child, a ton of good stuff. And that hasn't stopped, honestly. Well, not only did he love the content I had, he clicked on the link in my description box to buy something that I had recommended in the video. Kind of like how you should probably be doing right about now, because everything that I'm about to tell you, I made accessible for you to not just hear my love success story, but to also create your own successful and fulfilling love story too. So be sure to click inside of my description box for some exciting resources like the Me, Myself, Then Us journal. It's all about self-love before getting involved in any relationships. It'll help you to gain clarity on your desires, discover new sides of yourself to appreciate and cherish, and feel liberated and encouraged to share who you truly are with your partner. Plus, it'll help you develop stronger standards and create boundaries that protect your heart and your soul. Another great resource is a short-term expert-guided virtual mentorship program, or as I like to call them, an experience called the Soulmate Attraction Experience. It's a powerful and practical six-week love manifestation program. It includes a companion guide filled with over 80 pages of guided exercises, affirmations, and techniques this guide is designed to align your energy and your intentions with attracting your soulmate. And trust me, if I could manifest a husband in just four months and six days with what's inside there, why can't you also successfully elevate your love life, right? In addition, right now, the soulmate attraction experience is bundled inside of the best life bundle along with three more of my most popular resources to help you elevate your lifestyle in all the areas I talk about here on my channel now. Life, love, family, and finances. So check the description for the link on how to get that $357.96 resource for just seven bucks. Okay, so back to this crazy but true love story. <laughs> Now, once he bought, he also scheduled a coaching session with me. Now, just so you know, my one-on-one -on -one coaching is closed right now, but there is a waiting list that you can hop on so you can get my bundle for now to assist and guide you until my coaching reopens. I also have membership subscriptions for this area in life, so be sure to check that out as well if you're looking for lasting transformation with ongoing goodies that won't break the bank and actually work. Okay, back to the story. Now, when we met on the Zoom, I was like, oh, Sonny Walton is not some man in his 60s with a silver pompadour like I imagined. <laughs> this guy's kind of hot. <laughs> and then he started talking with that Brooklyn accent. Child, I love a New York accent, child. Yes, oh my God. Where's my fan? Here it is. Woo. Child, let me, give me a minute. I was legit thinking, oh my God, am I drooling? <laughs> I need to stop and focus. This is a business call. So I made up a story in my head that he's already with someone with a kid and a dog and a, and a picket fence house, child. <laughs> that way I could focus now and in the future, not even think about crossing that line into anything personal. <laughs> now, obviously that didn't work because, well, he's my husband now, <laughs> but Here's how that went down. For a while, almost a year, 
we stayed strictly platonically friendly business partners. By late September of 2020, I was doing a live stream that he caught. And he mentioned in the comments at some point that we've known and seen each other, you know, all this time online, but still haven't met in person. So I said in the live stream, yeah, that's true. We should definitely meet up soon. And this was just after I realized that multimillionaire was a straight up liar. Whack. Okay. <laughs> I was excited to meet up with someone I knew was respectful and fun and just cool, you know? So after the live stream, he messaged me and we set up a time to meet for a quick lunch. Well, that quick lunch turned into over five hours of talking about our business, our aspirations. And I ended up even giving him a tour of a neighborhood that I was thinking of moving to that had my dream floor plans and designs. And that's when I realized there was something to this guy. There was something there. There was a spark there. Jail, listen, I was so glad when he offered to take me out for another lunch in a few days, right? But this time, we both knew it would be an actual date, not just colleagues hanging out. So that particular afternoon lunch date turned into a 13-hour date. And again, this was deep conversations, bearing our souls to each other with no shame, no judgment, nothing to hide. There was no essay, hmm, no hugging, no holding hands. We never even touched. And you know, the more he talked and opened up, the more I realized he was so different and in such a good way. Was he the guy that God was arranging for me to meet? And when I tell you that God will give you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think, baby, God did that. Okay. <laughs> now, granted, Sonny didn't have as much as that super wealthy guy, but you know what? That guy was a liar and a fraud. And besides, I make my own damn money. So that wasn't the main thing that I wanted. What I wanted was something deeper. I wanted character in a man more so than I thought about coin. And as long as he had ambition and most of all, a genuine relationship with Jesus, I knew that he'd be destined for success anyway because of that. And I knew we'd be compatible. Sonny shared so much with me. He really let me see who he truly was. And I know these days in the dating world, so many people, yes, both men and women, are afraid to really just put it all out there. And even some of these gurus out there give you advice from the damn 50s talking about keep an air of mystery and hide something until later. See, they got some folks out here wasting time because if both people are straight up, it shows the respect needed for a foundation for a healthy relationship. And it can also help to be a filter to save you time from dating someone that's not right for you. So I don't know what they talking about, okay? <laughs> it's super important to be clear on what you want and for them as well. See, transparency is a powerful tool in the dating world, yeah? Anyway, back to the story. Two weeks after we started dating, we were looking at rings. When we went into the jewelers, they thought that we had been together for about three years. We were like, no, just a few weeks and their jaws dropped, hunty, okay? <laughs> so yeah, we started dating in October, October 15, 2020, January 15, 2021, he proposed. We had set the wedding date for May, but we kept moving it up because we were just so excited to start living our lives together. And so we married on 2-21-21, just two days after my 41st birthday. It was a very meaningful, intimate ceremony, and it was just so beautiful. We were focused on just us. No huge wedding. It was still COVID time anyway, so that would have been an unnecessary headache to try to plan around that. <laughs> but every detail had meaning, down to the dress, the rings, and of course the vows, which were not those traditional ones. They were so much deeper. And to this day, I think on how wonderful God has always been to me. And this is definitely one of those standout times. I really hope that you enjoyed this love story, at least enough to give me a thumbs up. And if you laughed or chuckled or a little giggle at least once, well, uh, well, you know, now you got to subscribe and click the bell for notifications because I am full of fun that you just don't want to miss out on, okay? <laughs>
All right. Well, anyway, I want you to stay blessed and I will definitely see you in the next video.